This week's Family Fun Day project is inspired by J.M.W. Turner's The Trout Stream. I love this early Turner painting. You can still see his signature swirling skies in the background. And in the foreground, you can see fishermen in the stream. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you need is some cardboard. Now, I don't have paper plates at home or uh, just, you know, cardboard lying around other than things that I've um, already gone through. So see my very favorite uh, sparkling water here. But if you don't have cardboard, you could also just use some stacks of folded sheets of paper. You just staple those together. What you're looking for is some paper that gives you some rigidity. So that's what we have here. We have foil. And then I bought this in bulk because that's the kind of person I am. I have a ton of scotch tape um, just waiting to wrap presents with. Um, and then also some markers. Now Sharpies, as you see here, are the best for this project. But if you have some other markers or pins or things like that, that should also work just fine. So to get started, what you do is you take your piece of cardboard. You're going to draw a circle. All right, so that's going to be the body of your fish. Then you're gonna connect your body with a triangle that's gonna be the tail. And so what you end up with right here is a very nice basic fish right here. So once you're done with that, you're going to cut it out. We did this project at a third Sunday fun day um, a while back and it was a great hit because the uh, markers on the foil end up being just really beautiful, almost like uh, water hitting um, color. So it's really beautiful. All right. So here is my little fishy shape right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to cover our fish in foil. So you can use um, a smaller sheet of foil than this, but the idea is you wanna cover all the sides, but make sure at least you have one very smooth side so you can decorate it. All right, I got a little too much foil, so I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. I'll use this foil for other, for other things, no problem. My little dog hates the sound of foil. All right, so you can see right here, our fish is starting to take shape. Just wanna make sure that you are Wrapping it in tightly here. All right. Make sure sometimes um, if you don't have the right foil uh, amount for your ship, your fish, sometimes you have to cut two pieces and that's fine too, just so you can get one of the body of whatever the tail. I'm making little incisions right here where the tail crease is, just feeling around for that. So that way when it's now time, I'm going to wrap the excess foil around my tail like that. All right, so there you go. You see the fish is now covered in foil. We have a smooth side right here and a more bumpy side on this side uh, where I pulled a little of the foil over. If you don't have enough foil, if you don't feel like it's being very secure, what you can do is you can tape it down and that will help um, secure the foil in place. But I have enough foil so I don't feel like I need that, so I'm not going to add that. All right, so your fish needs some personality and some color. We all need a little color right now. So the first step is let's draw your eyes. So take your marker. I'm using black, but you can use whatever color you want. Draw a circle or a dot. Ta-da. And then I'm going to make a mark for where the head is. All right. And because I like the smile, I'm giving it a smiley face too. Ta-da! All right, and so this is the fun part. You get to decorate this however you would like to. So I'm going to take a break here so you don't have to just watch me color, and I'll be back with my final product. All right, so here we are. We have our finished product. This is my little fish. You can see he, uh, he's smiling and is very colorful. We love this activity because you can really just enjoy the way that the um, foils, uh, metallic nature kind of goes through the, the Sharpie markers. 
Again, this works best with Sharpie markers, but if you have other markers, you can, it'll be fine. It just might rub off a little bit. Another thing just to watch out for too is that you don't want to make your tail too thin. You see how I have mine nice and thick because um, it can also easily tear off while you're wrapping the foil around it. So just a couple of things to kind of watch out for.